السلام عليكم and welcome back to تواصل رمضان series الصراط المستقيم Yesterday we covered إلا الذين آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات and we focused on righteous good deeds Today we will continue to وتواصوا بالحق وتواصوا بالصبر We will take وتواصوا بالحق and dice it and see what we can benefit from this one sentence that can change your entire life. The word tawasaw in Arabic is a verb in the past tense, plural masculine tense, and it's talking about, it's like past continuous tense. What is it asking of us? It's asking us believers to care about one another and to advise one another. The word wasiyah in Arabic is used in the Quran to describe the most sincere advice to someone that you love so much. When Sayyidina Ibrahim السلام, was about to pass away and his grandson Yaqub السلام, he was about to pass away, he gathered all of his children and he gave them a wasiyah. And what was the wasiyah? Are you going to keep the covenant of Allah? La ilaha illallah and follow the path of the prophets? And they said yes. So when Allah describes us as believers that we care so much about one another that we will advise and support one another. It's not only advise and then run away. No, it's a support system. What are we aiming for as Muslims our entire life? is to match the truth. The truth is that which matches actual reality, not perceived reality. And that's why Allah's name in Al-Quran Al-Kareem is Al-Haq, the truth. The Quran, one of its descriptions in the Quran is the truth. Allah says that he sent Prophet Muhammad وسلم, with the truth. And that's why the truth is very, very important. We live at a time that people came up with a term that they call, this is my personal truth. As if, you know, truth means nothing. Like, I, I think that the sky is red, that's my personal truth, and I'm gonna move on with my life based on the fact in my head that the sky is red. Na'udhu Billah, we don't have time, as Allah said in Surah Al-Asr, we don't have time, we're running out of time, and we should focus on the truth. Are you focused on the truth? Do you seek the truth? Because many of us live, just want to chase um, dreams and illusions and what I like to think about myself, not actually who I am. And that's the scariest thing that could happen to the believer. My dear brothers and sisters, Allah asks us to advise one another. How do we advise? Four things has to be in mind. Number one, that you use the best words when you talk to the people. You don't talk to the people in a way that turns them off and turns them against your advice. Since you really love the one that you're about to advise, you should really use the best word. Don't attack them. Don't tell them you've been always doing this. Don't tell them this is who you are. Don't put them down before you give them an advice. And that's very, very important because this way you prep the person in front of you to listen to you when you say something good about them before you criticize them. Constructive criticism. Now, the second important thing is that your intention behind the advice has to be for the sake of Allah, that you really want something better for your Muslim brother or sister, that this is not just to put them down. You're not getting back at them because one day they said something about you and now it's time to get back at them. That's why it has to have a very sincere intention. The third point with advice is to use the best place. It is not okay to advise people in front of others. And that's called exposing them. You don't like someone to come and talk about your private business in front of everyone else. That's not the right place. That has to be one-on-one. -on -one. And the best thing is to choose the right time. Don't talk to people when they are hungry, thirsty, tired, angry, sleepy. You need to choose a time that they are ready to receive your advice. My dear brothers and sisters, 
I have noticed that people now, when someone advise them, they say, oh, they stepped on my toes. Oh, they got into my personal business. Even though the other person has a very sincere intention. As Muslims, we function in a jama'ah. You want people not only to step on your toes, let them step on your feet, if that's going to mean that you will wake up and go to Jannah instead of being in your delusional world going wrong and no one is talking to you and advising you and directing you to the right path. Look what we do in Ramadan. We're really focused on gaining the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and not worrying about our nafs. We're disciplining our nafs. It is your nafs that will stop you from listening to advice as we have explained in the earlier episode. My dear brothers and sisters, Allah expects from us to seek the truth, want the truth, apply the truth, believe in the truth, and to always want to hear the truth and obey it and follow it because our life is very short and we don't have time or energy to waste. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala purify our intentions and make us from those who practice وَتَوَاصَوْ bilhaq. Allahumma ameen. Go home and practice that and see how people react to your practice. May Allah guide us all to accept advice from others. Ameen.